As I have always done, I am reaching out to you today from a place of pure love in order to give you the answers you have been seeking. Find your way out of the labyrinth of difficulties by using these answers. Come to terms with this profound reality. Everything that happens to you and everything that you face in life is for a greater purpose. Do not let fear control you, even if there will be times when you feel like you are facing impossible obstacles. When you need someone to lean on, I'll be here. I offer you tranquility, so you can rest. I am your Father in Heaven, the one who created you and loves you very much. I have a special plan for your life, and I want you to know it whole and out. Discover and embrace your inner divinity. You are capable of doing numerous good deeds and blessing many people. You have persevered through trials that have shaken your faith to its foundations. Still, you yearn to believe deep down. Although your spirit begs for solace, you cling tenaciously to my words. You seek the remedy for the conflicts that sap your delight and leave you with misery and suffering day and night. Have faith in what I say. I did not cause these difficulties. Everything that has happened to you is a wake-up call from me. I want you to know that my limitless, all-powerful love is already within of you. All the hardship you've been through is slowly but surely creating a stronghold around your heart, protecting it from harm. I am reaching out to you today, encouraging you to reach a higher spiritual level, from a place of genuine compassion and honesty. Forget about the days when you would wake up and feel like you were lost in life, with your spirits low and your eyes lowered as you endured insults and ridicule. I am sorry if you felt this way, it was not my will for you. Keep in mind that I made you in my image, and I want you to have a life unfettered by the demands of other people so that you can be strong and free and happy. Every word I utter has weight. Are you going to put your trust in them? Today, will you make the decision to trust me? At this very second. I beg you to get to your feet and move forward confidently. It's normal to feel confused sometimes, there's no need to stress about it. Here I am to help you. Those who have joined forces with evil, who plan against you and want to see you hurt, I will also shield you from. Follow my lead in the days months, and years to come if you are willing to walk with me passionately and patiently. No matter what challenges you face, I will be at your side the whole way. I will be the beacon of hope that illuminates your way through the night, bolstering your resolve to keep going until we reach our final destination. I will shower you with blessings, I swear it. When you travel to new places, you'll make many of friends. You will soon get my benefits because I will open doors for you. You will ascend at the appointed moment, and you will spread love and healing to all nations. You are strong, not weak. You are fearless and courageous. You are treasured, selected, and shielded by the boundless love of God, you are not an accident. As a result, I will ensure that you are protected from any threat. Your immense worth will be revealed to the world by me. When they witness your family's success and happiness, those who predicted your demise will be embarrassed and those who disregarded you will be shocked. The time to make your life-altering choice has come if you pay attention to what I say every day. You are incredibly powerful smart, and capable because I have blessed you. It is time for you to stand up now. Quit focusing on things that don't matter and stop helping people who don't appreciate you. 
you will be welcome to a land of plenty. Believe in your own bravery. Have no fear. You risk missing out on your blessings if you put off moving toward them any longer. Harvest time has arrived. Embrace the opportunity. Only those who are watchful will be able to enter heaven through the doors I open. The idol will continue to blame me for their problems and ignore my daily statements because they are too scared to face truth. I make this my will. Come to me, all you who are weary, and I will provide you a life of plenty and tranquility. All those who seek me with all their heart and love me as you do will flourish according to my plan. I am delighted by your attitude and faith, and I eagerly await each morning to meet your heart and reveal the benefits I have in store for you. I love you with all my heart. Please don't ever assume that my love for you is unrequited or unknowing. My quiet can be a sign that something needs time to develop, it can be a lesson in patience. Have faith that your situation will transcend all of your expectations. I am bringing tranquility and serenity into your heart. I am taking full responsibility of your issues and giving them my undivided attention. Lay your eyes down and soak up my love for a while. Allow yourself to be embraced by my love. The soft caress caresses your heart. Speak to me when you feel like you're about to cry. This is where I am. Neither have I abandoned you nor distanced myself. Make the most of this time to learn from me so that you can face the future with more insight, even when the clouds part and the sun comes out. Friends who appreciate you for your unique qualities rather than your material possessions will be easy to find. Neither will I ever abandon you or shower you with more than you can manage. Listen carefully to my instructions. To learn about the things I'm doing in your life, keep in touch with me. Arise and rejoice in the day ahead savoring the blessings I bestow from the wellspring of love and life that is my heart. There will be no more thirst for you when you drink from this well. The days of feeling lonely will soon be over. Even before you ask, I am making sure that everything that important to you, your health, your job, your family, is being taken care of. Everything is falling into place just as I have planned it. Put your concerns aside and get some rest, my little child. Get in touch with me and sing my praises while you still can. Please tell me, my child, how much you love me once you understand the depth of my love for you. May your life be filled to the brim with blessings and joy as you rejoice in my name. I love you without condition and will never abandon you, even if you fail to comprehend my ways. Put your confidence in me, and I will reinforce your faith. You shouldn't give up just because your ideas have hit a roadblock. Feeling discouraged when things don't work out the way you planned is quite normal. But if you put your trust in me, I will renew your soul and lead you back to my ideal design. A better future for you and those you care about is in my script. I long for the fulfillment of the promises you have placed your faith in. Refrain from letting yourself be weakened by melancholy or discouragement. With my help, you and your loved ones can rest assured that we will always be happy and safe. They will be brave enough to confront adversity head-on and smart enough to avoid common pitfalls. To those around them, they will be an inspiration and a beacon. Putting your whole faith in your Heavenly Father will bring you boundless blessings. 
You are welcome to approach my throne and have an open conversation with me. Let go of the weight of guilt. I am prepared to overlook your shortcomings. You are in desperate need of the atoning power of my blood, which you are seeking. Feel the immense honor, acceptance, and value bestowed upon you. I will always keep my word. Never again will I manipulate your feelings. Trust me when I say that no matter what happens, my promise of a safe future is true. Do not be upset or worried if things have not gone according to plan, have faith in me instead. I will instill courage and optimism in your heart if you are weary of circumstances not going your way. In the midst of your stormy emotions, I see your trust in me. Keep in mind that I have sweat blood on my brow from the enormous tribulations I have endured. Therefore, come boldly to the throne of my grace. Calm down, things are going to improve. You may expect a lot of changes in the near future. Today, may my peace and love envelop you. Stay face to face as I talk softly to you. Please don't disregard my soft calls. You should grow closer to my affection the more I strongly correct you. You are cognizant of the fact that I love you. Please, swear to me. If I don't respond right away to your prayers, I promise you won't be mad. That's right. Those close to you are waiting for you to make a mistake so they may take advantage of your weakness. They are prepared to make fun of your beliefs whenever it seems like things aren't going according to plan. You, however, are unique, my beloved, my beloved one. Pay attention to the heavenly, not to the contempt of this world. Do not be agitated even when they mock and ridicule you. For you, I have mapped out an exclusive route. Courageously go where you're going while the naysayers flounder around, their pride and envy bringing them down with them. But since you are my child, I am always available to you when you pray. Rest assured, I will respond. People who made fun of you will regret it when they realize how foolish they were. A particular favor is being held just for you. It hasn't gotten to you just yet because I'm getting your heart ready to receive it. Even prosperity can bring ruin to those who lack firm foundations. Being carefree in the face of success might lead to haughtiness and the traps laid by the enemy. That's why it's crucial for you to be prepared, brave, wise, and intelligent. Avoid taking it easy or running away from the bullies. Don't fall for the deception that says you don't matter. You fight a constant mental struggle, but I will be by your side every step of the way. Through the day and the night, we are one. Each day, we begin by organizing your schedule. While we sleep, we talk about your hopes and anxieties. You have faith in me, you trust me. Remain determined. Accept my affection and know how valuable you are. It saddens me when you disregard your own worth. I have faith in you. I adore you, so believe it. I will always be by your side, no matter how much you mess up. My troops, hear this message. Trust your gut feeling that you are one. Yes, I have verified it multiple times. Regardless of your age, health, or financial situation, you shouldn't disregard my word. I miraculously clear the way and open doors for my fighters who are willing to believe. Achieving greatness is within your reach because you are my special child. 
Hold on to the hope that my promises provide when you feel like giving up. Have complete faith. I will bring several blessings into your life as I complete my desire. At this moment, you should have an overwhelming sense of power, unwavering faith, and tremendous bravery. Dealing with personal, health, or financial matters is nothing to be afraid of. If you listen to my word, I will lead you to the shore where your problems will disappear. By following my instructions to keep going even when things get tough, you will be able to cross deep ravines, ride out violent waves, and emerge unscathed from any danger. Your joy and prosperity are dear to my heart, my beloved warrior. Defeat the enemy with unwavering faith as you become stronger every day. Rest certain that I will come to your rescue at the last possible moment, even in the midst of terrible conflicts and overwhelming needs, even if you are unable to perceive my presence. No matter how big or dangerous your enemies are, they will be intimidated by your brave resistance to their taunting. Here is a sacred weapon I am bestowing upon you today, the authority to speak my message. You can overcome your fears with my power by believing and speaking it, which will lead to obedience and faith. You have my undying devotion, my warrior. Join your loved ones, your children, your family, in holding hands as you confidently and joyfully enter the realm of blessings. I am writing to you today to tell you how much you mean to me and to express my deepest desires for our relationship. Have faith in the truths I say because they are timeless, genuine, and unadulterated. There is no limit to the size of my love for you, it has no bounds. Always keep in mind that you are loved, blessed, and protected by me even when you feel little or confused. You may feel like you're fighting an uphill battle on days when you're overwhelmed with sadness. But take heart, my love is like the sun that warms your face every day, a shield that protects and guides you. You are blessed by the light of my presence. Nothing can hurt you as long as my love is with you. Thus, stand up, Grin optimistically, for you are my dearly loved child. In my presence, you will never be in danger. Keep your courage and cling to this reality. I died on a brutal crucifixion for your crimes, both public and private, because my love for you is so great that I could not bear to see you suffer. We have released you. You owe no one anything more. Many others might not comprehend your newer life and blessings, and this is a personal issue between us. Forgiveness is uncommon and people frequently resort to extreme measures to protect themselves in this society. Those that are jealous will look for ways to bring you down, making up stories to attack you and hurt you. After realizing they can't harm you, their wrath may boil over, and they may even attempt to pin their shortcomings on you. Avoid these assaults at all costs. Toss out such harsh comments. Put rumors and chatter aside. Avoid trying to win over insincere acquaintances. Avoid squandering time trying to win their favor. Avoid using them. Put an end to their mockery. Your dignity is divine. No one should ever assume that I wanted you to be obedient because of how I brought you up. Embrace your life without seeking approval from others. All you require is my grace. People who are jealous will try to bring you down once they discover how successful you are. Take this message as a timely caution. Keep your senses sharp. Leave it to me.
Get lost in the teachings of my word. Get on your knees every morning and beg for my wisdom. You will be able to support your family, beginning with your own home, since I am empowering you. If you don't properly manage the blessings I provide you, they will end. I want to show your loyalty before I can tell you about the wonderful days of plenty that are ahead. Get up and take this promise I'm giving you, even if you've messed up. I have plans for you, and you must not allow uncertainty and dread to derail them. Bravely confront obstacles. Deal with disagreements. Fear not your adversaries. I will bestow upon you the wisdom and fortitude to patiently await the fulfillment of my promises. Stay out of debt if you can help it. Such servitude was never my intention for you. I love you so much that I have to be firm with you so you know it. Peace be with you, you have my undying affection. My word is the key to success and wealth. Use it as a learning experience. Every day, seek me out. Take your time and don't hurry. I invite you to hear my voice and feel my love. There is blessing in every word that you hear. I, the Lord, am also your Savior. You must avoid wickedness, but I will forgive your transgressions. Bring it on. I am always prepared to cleanse, forgive, strengthen, bless, prosper, and elevate you, there's nothing I can't see. To that end, I beg you to seek me out and be faithful to me while you accomplish good deeds for other people. If you truly love me and prioritize me in your life, please tell me. Give an honest answer. My love for you grows stronger every day, and I express it in innumerable ways. I do not want you to be downhearted or discouraged by any difficulty or misfortune, therefore I am sending my word to encourage you. Take my advice. Keep fighting and don't allow anyone hold you back. Keep in mind the awesomeness of your aspirations. You are the object of my many good intentions and plans. Some people would try to put you down because they are jealous or slandered you because of your looks or because of your misdeeds in the past. However, I perceive your authentic nature, your good intentions, your struggles to overcome shortcomings, and your will to transform your life and realize your aspirations. Take quick action. Trust me when I say this. Wake up and set out on your adventure. Be selfish and do it for the people you care about. Trust me when I say this. Take courage and stand firm. Do not give up until you achieve your goals. Your heart will be filled with even greater joy. Belief in my word and the pursuit of a better life were worthwhile, as you will see. If you have faith in your Heavenly Father, who I have told you before and will tell you again, you will get many rewards. This message is delivered to you today with the utmost love and care. Protect your spirit from the deceivers who would sabotage my beloved's aspirations. Avoid associating with and believing liars. Come to me. Shut your eyes, concentrate on my will, and pray. A great gift, a chance from on high, is on its way to you. Never forget how much I adore you. I will not forsake you now if I have never abandoned you before. Whether you've been going through a hard patch or experiencing a happy patch, I've always been here for you. You are always welcome here. You remain in my thoughts. When doubt creeps in, stand firm. 
Tell those who are trying to harm you that I am with you always, no matter what, and make reference to the promises I have made to you. Rest assured, my grace is there for you. Do not let self-doubt prevent you from fully appreciating these advantages. Please accept this gift from me if you have faith in me. It will bring more gifts and blessings when it gets to you, allowing you to support your family and those less fortunate. Possibilities abound, including sustenance, wellness, power, and tranquility. However, in order to obtain these gifts, you must come and practice your faith. Get out of my way, don't second-guess me, and don't hide. Because I am anxious to respond to your prayers, I am pleading with you to come. If you and your loved ones are sick or plagued by a curse, I will remove it. It is always with the intention of providing something greater if I take something away from you. You are about to embark on an important and pivotal stage. I can tell you've aged. What a change from yesterday when you were just another individual. You are ready to make judgments with assurance. Steer clear of destructive forces. Don't bother trying to win over those who don't care about you. I will be by your side every step of the way, even if they try to discourage you when you tell them how far you've come. Your faith will lead you as you walk ceaselessly, and I will accompany you when doors open. Those who were skeptical will see the fruits of your labor. May you prudently tend to these blessings, and may they flourish into the bedrock of even greater riches. You and your loved ones will soon achieve great progress towards a more promising future. Keep your kids motivated. They have the potential to change lives and countries via their knowledge and wisdom. Your house is the incubator for future heroes and leaders. They will be potent messengers of my promise until I return. Assuming your children observe your acts of reverence for me at home, this will transpire. Your life should serve as an example of the religion you hold. Stay away from the belief that bad character cannot be changed. When you're with me, you can do anything. Even the hardest souls can be softened by my touch. Formerly aggressive speakers will now chuckle like children. Whoever wronged me will become a speaker of sweet, honey-like kindness because of my power to transform them. I have the ability to change you so that your loved ones witness my strength firsthand. Have faith in me even though everyone else questions my existence and my capacity to assist. In your house, my majesty shall be revealed. My light will be seen by your neighbors. Your entire home will be protected by angels. The unearthly phenomena occurring within your premises will astound onlookers. In prayer, you will lay hands on many who come. I will cure the unwell, put a stop to disputes, and bandage injuries. Your family is witnessing a profound spiritual awakening. The days are drawing to a close, and although many are wondering what happened to me, they still don't care about me. Only to those who truly believe, who aren't scared to surrender their hearts to me, who will bear my word, and who are willing to suffer for my message and the love of others will I show my love. Right now, I want to plant this strong message in your heart. Keep in mind the time and place it sounded. Get up. Cast your gaze towards the distant horizon. I will bring my glory to faraway places by using your life. I will anoint you, and my Holy Spirit will operate through you and your family when you travel to faraway lands, even though you will face new languages. 
a new age of spiritual awakening is dawning. You are approaching the end of your current difficulties. We are approaching the long-awaited blessing. Your prize is going to be given to you soon. I will not abandon any of my children. I will answer your earnest, faith-filled prayers whenever you make them. You have kept your word, and I have kept my vow. You had fought the enemy's traps with strength even when you were weak. You have made great strides, step by step, patiently following my way. Throughout this whole process, I have been by your side. You are getting close to the blessed location, where you and your loved ones will discover the rest you need, the sustenance you require, and a revitalized sense of joy, inspiration, purpose, and holy will to persevere till victory. With my help, you and your loved ones will be able to break free from destructive patterns of behavior, spiritual ties, negative ideas, and any lingering animosity or resentment. My Holy Spirit is a living water that will change your life drastically if you drink it in. Those who are closest to you, including friends and family, will stare at you in shock and wonder, what happened to you? Just what is this shift? How come you always seem so happy? Why have you undergone such a dramatic change? Thus, I want to assure you once again that your difficulties and concerns will not last forever. There will be more challenges in your life. Your confidence in me as your loving Heavenly Father is evident in the sincerity, purity, and faith with which you have received my words and precepts into your soul. Consequently, I am bestowing liberty and blessing upon you and your entire family. Your unwavering faith, your growing patience in waiting for my perfect timing, and your complete confidence in me bring me joy. You put your faith in my word alone to heal you, you don't need signs. It brings me great satisfaction that you listen to my sincere wish to be of service to you. You have been saved, and the day of your freedom has begun, today. I love you, and I am always with you, so tell me now that you will get up and seek me. My love is known by you and you know that I can do anything you want of me. This is something you truly believe. Tell me you will be patient and trusting until the miracle you've been praying for finally happens. I am well informed of the request you made in prayer. I was prepared to answer the moment you chose to seek me. The celestial regions present you with significant obstacles to your blessing. So, Remain steadfast in your faith and pray constantly. In no way should you allow yourself to get discouraged. Avoid being around people that bring discord into your life. Gather around you people who will inspire you to believe and be bold, who will lead you to me, and who will pray that you be blessed. You should know that my heart's desire is to see you succeed in spite of the difficulties you're facing and the attention they're receiving. Your life and the future of your family are on the line in this battle. During this season, I have a lot of wisdom to impart to you. I long for the day when you will depend on me more. Please know that I am here to serve as your provider. Standing up with the strength I bestow upon you is your responsibility, not running away in terror. As I begin to do the miracle you have requested, I beg you to remain persistent. I am the rock upon which you can stand. Come to me on your knees, with your head bowed, when you feel overwhelmed, and have faith that I will help. It is not the time to face all of your difficulties on your own, although I admire your courage. My help is required by you. You will tire quickly if you rely on your own power alone. 
The enemy waits like a lion, ready to pounce on anyone who lets their guard down, and you become susceptible to him when you are exhausted. You must remain vigilant because if you let yourself become weary, you may be tempted to cease praying and turn your attention away from your journey, which could lead to a fall.